An exciting feature I put in here is the ability to download the images and videos from Pinterest. So check this out. So I'm just going to go and select 10 pins. I'm going to do pins. I'm just searching for the keyword forging. And I'm going to do videos as well. All right. So we've got a bunch of pins and a bunch of videos. So if we come over here, you can see his video, his pin. So associated with these pins. So if it's just a pin image, you'll just get the image. But if it's a video, the software will actually download the video as well as the video thumbnail. So all you have to do is you have to select the ones that you want to um, download. So you have to manually either double click a row or click the checkbox over here or click this little checkbox at the top and go select all. And now I can right click and select download selected images slash videos. You click that. It's going to ask you where do you want to save it. So I have a, I have a folder here called pins. I'll just go in here and select folder. And it's going through and doing its magic. Now it will take a little bit longer to download the video files because they're always usually bigger than an image file. So just got to be a little bit patient. Obviously, if you're doing, you know, a thousand at a time, it's going to take a bit. Especially if the videos are really big. And here we go. It's all in that folder now. So now we can see the images and the videos. So if you want to sort by type, you can see all the images and then the videos. So now you can just go ahead and look at them all. Pretty cool. If you want to see an image, I'll just double click on, sorry, a video, double click on one of the videos and we can see the video. So now you can go ahead and do what you need to do with these videos. If you're just um, using it for reference to make your own videos or providing research for clients or, or whatever, I, I don't recommend, you know, stealing these videos because it's probably created by the owner of that pin, but it's always good to maybe if you want to model something after it or use it in your research in one way or another, but I want to integrate that feature and it's crazy easy to do. Now let's just clear this all out here for a second. Now let's say for example, you have like a bunch of a list of keywords or sorry, a list of pin links that you have been searching around and you want to get the images and videos for those. Now what you can do is over here. So all you have to do is just paste in your links. So for example, um, let me just go back and search here again real quick. Let's say for example, you were surfing around on Pinterest and you're like, oh, I want this video. How am I going to get it? So what you can do is you can actually just select the link in your browser and copy it. And you can come into Pin Inspector and go to Browse and Scrape here. Let's clear that out. And you can just paste that in, into here. So Control C on your keyboard, or sorry, Control V. So now it's here. And now what you can do is just click Analyze. So now that we got it in our grid, just double click it, right click, and now you can do your, I want to download it here. And now we have it. So the last one we just downloaded is right here. Where did it go now? There it is. That's the one I wanted to download. So that's how you can manually do it. If you've got a bunch of links, just stick it in there. But I have decided to integrate that in there for people that would like to download the videos and images for your own purposes.